What's up guys? Welcome back to College Kings 2. We are continuing on here now. We just got a text from Lauren to come by after testing out some of our new product with uh, Aubrey. Uh, we're here now with Riley. And God knows what's about to happen. <laughs> Riley, about time you showed up. That's a new one. Hey Alex. It's finally time for someone else to try on my designs. I'm a little nervous. Don't be. You're doing great so far. Should should I have another glass of wine? Tino, loosen up. Go for it. Sure, go for it. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Jeez, I know it said chug it. Can't believe how much of a fish she's become since the start of this semester. Here we go. Is that what I'll be wearing today? Oh, Riley's testing it. I see. Yep. Let me know how it feels. I'll take a moment to change into this little number. Don't peep you two. Respect. Man, being a gentleman can be a tough gig. Okay, you two. Take a look. So what do you think of it? Fits like a dream. The sizing is excellent. Fabric choice and coloration are also perf. Any criticisms? Not really a criticism, but uh, preferentially, I'd want some different aesthetics flourishings, flourishes. Like for this picnic design in particular, more frills and poof bits at the hems would fit the theme and make me happy. Phone rings. Ah, sorry, you two. Forgot I was expecting a personal call. I have to take this. I'll step into the bathroom so you don't have to hear me yammering. And then there were two. So, I've been meaning to say, you and I have made a great team on this so far. And you've been uh, supportive and helpful. All in, and all the things I wanted, but didn't know I needed. Oh. I know you're doing this first and foremost because it's what good friends do. It's true. But did you want to be more than friends? That hurts the soul. Oh boy. Well, again, I'm going to try and stick true to Chloe here. So, uh, you mean romantic, proper boyfriend, girlfriend? That's exactly what I mean. You've been so good to me and for me on this journey. And I just, I want more of that. I want more of you. I'm so sorry, Lauren. I got a lot on my plate right now. I like helping you, but let's keep it plenty. I don't want anyone to. To be disappointed. I understand, and I'm glad you're still willing to help. I'm sorry. I'm more than willing. I want to see you succeed. Oh, oh, oh God! I was assuming it's gonna go south. Hey, two. I'm back. Calls over. What'd I miss? Uh, nothing's crazy. That was the fastest call ever, by the way. Wrong number. That wasn't the important one I was expecting. Anyway, once again, Lauren, knockout job. Even with the little extra flourishes. I'd still buy this at the store. You mean it? Of course I do. My ass looks amazing in this thing. <laughs> Tell her, Alex. Riley's right, Lauren. You've really done an incredible job so far. If you're this good already, sky's the limit. Maybe this game is meant for you to just be with everybody and not waste your time being with one chick. I can't believe I slept so late. Uh, in so late. I feel like shit. Or in. Trying to make the I buy page for the lingerie finally. Can you help me? I'm at dorm. Sure thing. Give me a few and I'll be over there. Excuse me. <laughs> God, my head hurts. Anyway, whatever. Let's do this. Wear lingerie that makes you feel good. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. First thing I was iffy on, pricing strategy. Any thoughts on this one? Focus on value. Focus on value. You're a college girl. You know the financial struggles. Make it reasonably priced to lure in more buyers. Yeah, I was leaning toward that one. Uh, this one. I've got the rough shape of the body copy down, but I need to help really nailing it. Thoughts on the first blank? 
wear lingerie that makes you feel good in front of a mirror. Wear lingerie that makes you feel good in front of a mirror. Experience a collection of soft, silky, smooth designs that'll empower you. In front of a mirror. All right. Wear lingerie that makes you feel good in front of a mirror. Experience a collection of soft, silky, smooth designs that'll empower you to be proud of your unique shape. Dominate the bedroom. Be proud of your unique shape. Handcrafted by a student who sees potential for better lingerie markets. Support Lauren in her goal to provide you with a new brand of... To the third and final blank ideas. Support Lauren in her goal to provide you with a new brand of sophisticated style. Perfect. Now the final step, uh, picking the hero image for the listing. I'm torn between two of my designs. Help me decide. The first one, way more eye-catching design. As always, red wins. Time to send it live. You got this. And done. Phew. That, that's really it. It's really happening. I finally pulled the trigger. You sure did. And that's more than most people ever do, Lauren. So hats off to you. Let's regroup in a week and see where this page lands me, okay? Can't wait. R Ryan, buddy! Aside from Delaware and Nevada... Trust is especially popular in South Dakota. In 1983, it revoked a law that prevented hereditary estates from. I'm so bored, I'm literally going to die. Yeah, it's, uh, Ryan, buddy. We've already lost Ryan. Rip. Ah, this little guy's twitching in his sleep. I wonder what he's dreaming of. Dreaming of the hunt? <laughs> Text from Billy on what if this is about the game. I thought she was stuck in a Q in QA hell. Help me. Guess who I'm hanging out with today? Oscar, want to come hang out with us? We're in the Dean's office. I'll come literally the exact second. Aren't you an econ? That's why I'm going <laughs> come the exact second. I'm dying here, P. Bad boy, Alex. Sit, stay. Woof, woof, fine. My dog now? I was thinking you were... Whoa! Teasing promise. I'll see you after class. Us, let's put the phone away while teacher's talking. <laughs> Unless there's a reason you're staring at your crotch and smiling. Glass laughs. That woman is going to be the death of me. All right, all right, Alex, phone away. At least you have doggo hangouts to look forward to. Come to think of it, this could be my chance to talk to the dean about the investigation. Amber's going to be so excited. Back to class for now. Oscar! Oscar, what's good? Hey, there's my favorite little guy. His ears perked up a few seconds ago. I think he could hear you coming. Yeah, you love me, don't you, little guy? Don't you? I've been begging Dean Harrison to let me look after Oscar again. This is where I get my doggy fix. I should get the poking around the investigation. Penelope will be okay with it, right? Here's our woman in the chair, after all. So, hey, I don't know if she told you, but Amber and I are in the middle of an investigation. You want to snoop, don't you? I want to snoop, yeah. I'd rather you didn't. If the dean thought I was going through her drawers, she'd probably freak. I mean, I don't want to go through, uh, get Penelope in trouble. But I need to find out what the dean knows. All right. Now you're right. Came here to hang with you and Oscar. Thanks, Alex. You should speak with Dean Harrison when she gets back. Maybe she'll help. Alex, Oscar's ears just perked up and ran over to the door. I think Dean's almost here. Oh, there's my little angel. My little Oski poo. It's so weird to hear the Dean talking like that. Oh, hi there, Alex. Nice to see you. You too, Dean Harrison. A little guy do today. Little angel, just like the, uh, just like the nickname. Excellent. I was, I very much appreciate you looking after him. Penelope, he's clearly very fond of you. Now I hate to kick you out, but I have a phone call I'm gonna have to take, have to make. Oh, for sure. We'll get out of your hair. Actually, Dean, before I leave, I was hoping I could ask you something. Oh, with that, Alex, I don't have all day. 
Pricker. Pricker? I overheard a teacher talking about how they were concerned their job with some of the things going on. Oh, well, that could very well be a simple, reasonable concern. Teachers are only human, after all. This teacher mentioned you specifically. Said you were worried about whatever's going on at the school. Those damn teachers gossip worse than schoolgirls. I simply can't say much. It's quite serious internal college uh, business. The board of trustees will be making some major decisions. Concerning people's jobs, but I will say. Well, there may be some major changes coming to San Vallejo College. Some that are out of control, unfortunately. Do you mean changes that have to do with the frats? Changes that have to do with everything, Alex. Some that will be quite difficult, if I'm being perfectly honest. I'm sorry for the rush, but I really am quite busy. You can see yourselves out. Thanks again, Penelope. That went a lot better than I expected. I should go see Amber. She was trying to figure out how to crack the Dean. See you, Penelope. I understand people don't on, uh, usually borrow your equipment, but... Yeah, dude, I get the uh, pesticides are a controlled substance. You literally said that a thousand times. I don't want to use them. I just want to... Hello? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, I was working on Angle getting into Dean office. I thought we could pose as exterminators. But the college contractor's a dick. He kept calling me little lady. He doesn't know I'm little. I could be like 400 pounds for all he knows. Not all ladies are little, asshole. Well, Detective, I have some good news. I got into the Dean's office. Very impressive, Watson. I don't know how you do it. This one was pretty big. It sounds like whoever's above the Dean, the board or whatever, is demanding drastic changes. So this goes all the way up to the top, huh? Mr. Lee said the faculty all know the Dean is really nervous about what's going on. And now, and we know Elijah is looking into it for the school's newspaper, so it's pretty widespread. He blames the apes and wolves for getting the others in trouble. And he's scared the frogs will get dragged down because of it. We're so damn close. Let's take a look. See if you can form a connection with two of our, uh, two of our clues. You can now click on two clues to connect them. You can only make one connection, so choose carefully. Click continue to lock in your connection. Oh, fuck. Miss Rose is anxious about the frats. The Dean knows there's big changes coming. All roads lead to the Dean and something spooked her. Huh. So, okay. Uh, worried about the frats. The Dean knows there's big changes coming. <clears throat> the frogs got called to meet the Dean. All roads lead to the Dean and something spooked her. The Dean knows there's big changes coming. I don't know. Mr. Lee says the Dean is spooked about something, something to do with the frats. And the Dean says jobs are on the line. Maybe the frats have gotten themselves into something that could cause a scandal. I don't know. The apes did post those pics of Chloe in her underwear. That can't have helped their case. Does this sound right? Is this the working theory we want to move ahead on? Let's look again. I think we're very quite there yet. Let's take another look. Maybe we're missing something. Okay, so we got the Dean investigating the frats. Job's on the line, and Elijah's blaming the apes and wolves for what's happening. Maybe the Dean is cracking down on the frats to look like she's doing something. Scapegoat? Does this sound right? This is working? Okay, uh, let's look again. I'm starting to see something on the, in this. Miss Rose is getting warnings about being close with the wolves, which points to something bigger than student conduct. And the Dean says big changes <coughs> are coming that could affect people's jobs. This big enough that it's imp uh, impacting the whole campus. Does it sound right? Okay. Okay, so that's... Our Mr. Lee and Mr. Rosalie Ladder. Warnings about close ties with the frats. The former says that something is Dean spooked. 
problem with the faculty showing the genus. Okay. Starting to see something in this, Mr. Rose. Okay. Uh, big enough to impacting those of the whole campus. Does it sound right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. I think we got it. Oh, uh, yeah. We obviously, uh, we absolutely onto something here. Miss Rose gets a warning about her close ties with the wolves. Maybe a little too close in my case. In my case, God, I really hope this is good about us. But like, see, like, what the fuck? You can't, you can't just get away from it. Maybe no one will ever find out that you have sex with everybody in this game. I don't know. And then the dean turns around and says, "It's a huge college issue. Jobs on the line. It all leads back to the wolves and apes." Not going to lie, I am turn. I am so turned on right now. I've got a detection erection. <laughs> I have no response to that. Excuse me. Damn, it feels good to have working theory. We've hopefully established the why. Now we just need to establish the what. The what? What is all the leading to? What is this all leading to? We'll put our feelers. We'll put out feelers, see if there's any more rumors or anyone's heard anything. This calls for more coffee. Amazing work today, Watson. You make a damn good detective. You too, detective. Go easy on the bean juice. Ooh, Audrey. Okay, guys, I'm in the gameplay here before we carry on here with our double date, apparently. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Things are getting weird in this episode, man. I'm, uh, or in this, uh, this act too, sorry. I'm getting kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. And let me know down in the comments what you think. I'm going to see you all soon. Rage Rob. Peace out.